ladies. Um, I'm Ashley Centroni. I just wanted to hop on and uh, try a new technique that I've just uh, been learning more about. I'm, I've am i always sort of uh, done my makeup the same way and I, I do love it. It's my favorite, but I'm always open to trying new things. So I gave the cheetah hack a try and it was fun, but it wasn't my favorite. I'm very traditional, but in this case, um, like I say, I'm open to trying anything. So I figured why not um, give it a go here and share it with you. And maybe it's something you guys might want to give a try yourselves. So anyhow, I'm going to um, hop on here through um, with my compact. And basically you'll see here, I've got a few different highlights and a couple contours in here as well. Um, but I'm gonna stick to my to three highlights today and a contour. This uh, method is called the camo method. And um, basically, there's your uh, pop color, which is sort of the lightest color, your bridge color, which is um, like your main kind of color, and then uh, your camo color, which is um, a darker color that you're going to use um, to cover up your problem areas. I'm going to use two brushes. I'm going to go with my detail brush as well as my buff brush, and just using those um, as well as, of course, uh, my sponge. And I'm going to start off with just applying some setting spray on my sponge. And I'm just going to dab it on this way. So as you know, uh, or perhaps you know, um, the idea behind the 3D foundation is to not have to layer your makeup. So this method is just really to get back to the basics of just trying to get the coverage you need with one layer rather than kind of caking it on in multiple layers. So we're gonna give it a shot. And um, so I just started here with, like I say, I sprayed some stay spray on my sponge and just work that into the skin just to sort of prep things, get us ready to go. And um, yeah, now I'm going to start with my camo color. So using the small end of my buff brush i'm gonna go through in my case i'm gonna use mango and i'm just gonna go through and apply that just on my problem areas just to sort of help camouflage them so that's gonna be anywhere that i've got acne or any sort of melasma or anything like that that i want to want to give extra coverage to got a bit of rosacea and whatnot around my nose so I'll apply it there and I'm just doing just a real light hand you don't want to go too too heavy on it I put a little bit here as well where I've got the dark circles all right anywhere else here so the idea is we're gonna go through we're gonna camouflage first here now while we give this a minute to sort of warm into the skin a bit I'm gonna do my contour. I actually could have started with my contour, but I'm so used to starting with my highlights that I didn't even think to. So I'm gonna hop back over um, and do that real quick. So with this method, you're going to sort of create um, a bit of a diamond here in the center of your face. So going through the arch of your brow to the edge of your eye on either side, we're gonna leave this area in the center without, but everywhere else we're gonna apply our contour. So the idea is we want to really bring the light to the center of the face. So the dark is going to absorb the light and then the light is going to reflect or the bright colors are going to reflect the light. So that's um, how we're going to bring that sort of attention to the center brightness of our face. So we're going to apply this everywhere that wasn't included in this center area. I'm also going to put it here on my 
cheekbones, but I'm going to just feel here for my actual cheekbone and I'm gonna put this right under that. I'm gonna work it up and I'm just gonna sort of blend it upwards. So, just like so, just right under that bone, not the fishy face, not too low. We're just gonna put it right there and then just sort of gently blend that up. We don't want anything too stark. We wanna keep it, you know, less is more. <laughs> don't want any real harsh lines either. So again, just under that cheekbone and we're just going to sort of gently blend it upwards. Just accentuating that shadow that's already there. All right, now I'm gonna do the same under this jawline as well, sort of down and over, just to help sort of chisel things a little bit. You can also go and find under here, you can see there's already a bit of a shadow created at the bottom um, under my chin. You're gonna go just behind that and pull that back just to help create a bit of shadow, prolong that shadow a bit and slenderize my neck a bit. You can also contour down the sides as well if you'd like, just to help give a little bit more definition through here. All right, I'm going to save my nose contour for the very end. You could do it right now if you wanted, but um, I'm gonna hop back to that after. So now I'm going to go through with my pop color. So this is the color that is going to be the, the bringing that brightness to the center. So I'm gonna put some through here. one I'm using right now is Aura. It's a nice bright color. Other ones might be, uh, if you wanted to go even lighter, you could do something like Linen is a really nice one. And this is going to go through sort of in the corner here and down just to really bring that brightness to the center here. Just using the smaller end here of that detail brush that I use for my contouring. All right. To give yourself a little bit of a eye lift, you can apply this just to this outside corner as well. Kind of helps pull that up a bit. All right. Okay, I put some here as well. I'm gonna add some more to this center of my nose, but I'm just gonna wait and apply that after I've done my contouring on the sides. Also, if you want to add a little bit of lightness through here and your chin, you can do that as well. If you've got a more predominant chin and you don't want to have it accentuated and pulled anymore, forward even more so, then don't apply this lighter color here. But if you want to sort of Pull it forward a little bit, a little bit of this um, pop color. This is the pop color. So we've got camo, which is what we went through with the mango at the beginning, and I covered up my problem areas. And then I've got my pop color, which is aura in my case. And then I'm gonna go through with my bridge color, um, and that is my is amber in my case, and it's gonna go everywhere that I don't have the others that I don't have my camel, my bridge, or sorry, my camel and my pop. So I'm just gonna apply that. So I'm trying to avoid layering. I put my lighter color on the center of my chin, so I'm going around that. I'm gonna go underneath my contour line here.
and just in dabbing motions. Pressing that product into the skin. All right. All right, now I don't need, um, actually I'm gonna do this contour real quick on my nose. So just with my the same detail brush, I'm gonna go through with this light hand. You don't wanna put too much product. And you wanna try and bring these lines together. Always a little harder in a cell phone screen. <laughs> but you wanna bring these lines together and we're just gonna gently sort of feather it in a bit, bringing it up to your eyebrow line as well, just to get them natural melded together. All right, now we can add that little bit of brightness down the center. That's that pop color or traditionally what we've been calling it is our brightening highlight. So I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a blend. Now just using the same brush, this um, buff brush, I'm just gonna go through and I'm just going to really just sort of work the product, blending in those edges, sort of buffing out any sort of harsh lines. course we need to add in some lips and cheeks I'm gonna save my eyes because I do want to hop on or I wanted to do a little bit something different with my eyes um, but I want to just keep this video just to the hack the camo hack so this is yeah just a different method and to be honest I actually quite like it I think it's gone pretty well for a first attempt here all right, yeah, and I don't have a ton of product on, which is wonderful. That's, of course, the goal. That's what we're going for. We don't want to have layers upon layers. So if we can have just a nice, um, put everything just where it needs to be, then this is our ideal situation. All right, I'm just going to grab my um, brush here and add in a little bit of lip and cheek. So I'm gonna, I love mixing. I love having my colors all sort of in a row here. So I love using um, what I, I actually just used it for the first time yesterday. I mixed sandstone and, sorry, getting distracted. I mixed sandstone and Tropicana and I really love the color that I ended up with. So I'm gonna just sort of put a little bit here. All right, and then of course a little bit on the lips. I absolutely love how we, oh, a little hair here. I love, oh, 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 sorry, bear with me. I love how our um, lip and cheeks work so well um, to mix, mix them together. It's one of my favorite parts of our lineup is that you can create your own custom colors. So if you can grab a few lip and cheeks, like I have here, um, I've got Frenchie, Tropicana, and Sandstone. You can just make multiple colors with those different combinations. And um, you end up with a whole variety of looks that you can pull off with just a few colors that you can mix and match. You want a little bit of warmth? Um, we've also got our rose gold illuminator. 
add a little bit of that for a little bit of uh, warmth as well. I'm also going to go back and just add this. This can go in areas um, similar to the, the way I'd been doing it before. Just um, sort of over the brow bones. You can put a little bit underneath. Just a little bit of extra shimmer in some places. Top of your cheekbone. I'm gonna put a little bit here if you like on your cupid's bow. Anyhow, that is basically it. Um, I absolutely, honestly, kind of love this new um, camo technique. I mean, it's new to me. Um, a gal in our industry has been doing it for a while and training it, and I um, decided to just try something a little bit different. And I'm glad I did because I think it was really. Um, a neat uh, way of doing it. So I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love if you want to give it a try yourself and let me know how it turned out for you. Um, any comments and anything like that, your comparison between what you preferred and whatnot. Um, but basically, like I said, the sort of foundations of it all or the basics of it is you're going to have three, I've got an extra one in here, but you're going to have three highlight colors. Your uh, pop color, which is the brightest, your bridge color, which kind of bridges it all together, and then your camo color, which we went through with and covered up problem areas. Not so much to be layered, but more put them in the places they belong, as well as the contour, and then uh, nicely blend them together. Um, yeah, and then add a little bit of your illuminator, lip and cheek, and you're good to go. Anyhow, uh, you could also add your bronzer, but like I said, um, I'm not just stick to the basics for now. But anyways, I hope you ladies enjoy this. I'd love to hear your feedback and we'll talk to you soon.